Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue the series on Python. Now, in the last video we have talked about lambdas, right? We have talked about anonymous functions. We are still not confirmed where you will use it. Of course, we know the concept that we have a function without name, it should have only one expression, it can, it can take multiple arguments, but hold on, where you will use it? So in this video, we will use three functions. One is filter, map and reduce okay and let's try to use this lambda there and you will understand the importance of it so to understand this what i will do is i will take an example here the example is let's say if i have a list of values i will say nums and in this nums i have certain values let me just drop this those values here so we got this values here okay i don't know how many numbers are even or odd of course we can do some complex example here but just to make it simple just to keep it simple let's go with this so we got this number i just want to check how many numbers are even in fact i want to fetch all the even numbers from this list so i want to get a new list which is uh, evens and in this evens okay i don't know if it is a good name evens but it doesn't matter so in this evens i want to assign all the even numbers okay how will you do that of course you have to write a function right and then we have a inbuilt function in python called as filter okay so this we have this functions so what this filter will do is it will take the list from you and it will filter those lists, it will give you the values. So you will say, hey, I want even numbers filter, will say, okay, done, okay? So filter will take the sequence and it will give you a sequence, but we want a list in return, right? So this filter will give you something, I want a list out of it, and that should work. But there's one problem here. When you say filter, how would filter know what exact what values you want? Because see, we will pass num. That's perfectly right. That's perfect. We will pass nums to our filter. That's a sequence, right? That's a list. But then how it will return? So what should be the condition, right? And that's where filter says, hey, you give me function. If I say control space here for filter, so filter takes two arguments. The first one is function and second one is iterable, which is sequence in this case. But what function we are talking about? So what do we do is we have to say is even function so we are passing is even but is it an inbuilt function of course not so that means we need to define this function so i will say def i will define this function is even i just went with this name because we don't we are I'm not able to record any name here and this is even takes a value let's say the value is a or n and this will return true or false if that n is even number it will return true if that n is odd number it will return false example let's say if i give you a list of phones and some phones are android phones and some phones are non-android phones maybe windows phone ios or blackberry so if i give you those phones your job is to filter it okay so i will say hey filter based on android non-android so you will take the phone and you will say okay this is android keep it here this is not android keep it there so this is what we are doing so in filter this is what it does so if it is true or false depend upon true it will give you the value it depend up if it is false it will not give you the value uh, so we'll say return i mod 2 is equal equal to 0 okay so if it is not i n how can i say i so i will say n mod 2 is equal equal to 0 that's it okay so this function returns a value true or false based on this expression right and this should work now because if i print this evens see the output it gives you all the even numbers so in the list you do have odd numbers or oh, unfortunately we have only two odd numbers but that's fine okay so in the even numbers you can see we, in evens we only have even numbers now so this thing filter takes two arguments the first one is the function which where you will mention the logic and second one is the list or the sequence but don't you think this function here is only to be used here right see normally when you talk about functions we use functions so that it can be reusable but look at this function don't you think this is a very customized function only for that purpose and it only returns one value so in that case you can use lambda so you want to know how to use lambda here it's very simple we don't need this function because in this function we need only two things the variable name n and the expression right so i don't want this in this so instead of using is even we'll mention the function here itself so you have to say lambda space mention the variable name which is n or any variable name you, you, for that matter give a colon and mention the operation which is n mod 2 is equal to equal to zero that's this you are defining a function so you're saying so this is my sequence which is least in this case and this is my function based on that filter it and it works okay so that's the beauty about lambda so you can reduce the number of lines you are using and it makes your code look cool right so that's that's what programmers do right making things cool 
Now let's try with map. So let's say you got all the even numbers, right? So in this, we got all the even numbers. Now my job is to double all the values. So whatever even numbers you got, I want to double it. Or maybe I want to plus say to plus two. So whatever even numbers we have, I want to say plus two. So even numbers are two, six, eight. I want to say plus two. So two should be four, six should be eight, eight should be 10. So that's what I want to do. Now, whenever you want to uh, change every value, we can use very simple concept called as map. Okay, now, if, I don't know if you have if you have ever heard about big data concepts, right? So in, when I was learning big data for the first time, was when I was do, doing something with uh, Google's MapReduce concept. This is what we do, you know? So we take the chunk of data and then we try to filter that data and then we map it and then we try to reduce it, okay? So this same concept can be implemented here. So if you have a bunch of values, filter out the values which you don't need and then uh, apply some operation with, with the help of map. So map, what map does is it takes the value apply some operation maybe plus two in multiply depending upon what you want and then you can also use reduce function which we'll see later so if i give you a chunk of data let's say if you want to add all the values reduce if you want to multiply all the values reduce if you want to find one value out of the chunk you will use reduce it can be some it can be any, any other logic or maybe average right so here what i want to do is i want to find i want to double all the values i would say doubles right so uh, we got events and then we want to find doubles of it so of course i want in the least format and this time i will not i don't want to filter it i want to map i want to change all the values so i will say map and in this i will pass events but then when you say map events you have to also pass one more thing because map takes two arguments so map takes a function and a table again the same problem function now what function i'm talking about is the logic right so we can do that here we can define a function we will say update because it's updating the value it will take n and what you do is you have to just add two right so you will say return n plus two so whatever value you are getting you will simply say n plus two right but uh, and then we have to pass that update function here right so map takes two arguments the function and the sequence right we are doing that here but there's only one thing right i don't want to use this function because the only purpose of this function is to work with map right we will not be using this function anymore so in that case instead of doing that there here itself we can say lambda as we did before we can say lambda n colon n plus two right it's so simple you, you can simply create an anonymous function or lambda here itself right so this works we got double and the last one is i want to perform reduce i want to reduce all the values example if i print this double first let me just print doubles so this doubles you will get the same stuff but then you are saying plus two. Oh, we were supposed to do double right so i have to say into two not plus two I mean, in fact your logic right so you want to double it or you want to say plus two but since then i by mistake i've made i've taken the name double so i will make it double let's run this and you can see we got 4 12 16 8 12 and 4 that perfectly works but now what i want to do is i want to reduce the value so instead of having multiple values i want only one value i want to add all these values right now technically when you add values how we do it is you simply say okay 4 plus 12 is 16 16 plus 16 is 32 32 plus 8 is 40 40 plus 12 is i mean list goes on right so you at one time you only add two values even if i give you 10 values you will add two values at a time that's important so how will you do it and that's where we will use reduce so i will say sum is equal to I, of course i'm not expecting multiple values here i'm expecting only one value that's why i'm not i will not be using list so i will use a function called as reduce but the problem is that you, you can see it says no suggestion that means we are not able to use reduce the thing is this reduce function it belongs to a module called as function tools or func tool so i will say from func func tools import reduce because we want to work with reduce right and then we can say now we can perform this operation so we can say reduce and now reduce if i say control space oh reduce also takes two things okay the thing is <laughs> we have to pass two things right the first one is the function okay the logic of course because it depends upon what you want to do maybe you want to add all the numbers maybe you want to multiply all the numbers so you have to pass a function and then you want to pass a sequence so sequence is there in doubles because i want to add all the values of doubles but i also need to specify okay what i did i just made a mistake there okay and then this you have to pass a function now which what the what function i'm talking about so what i will do is here i will create a function which is def and i will call this function as add all of course you can use any function name and this will take two parameters okay so when you say a function for, for reduce it will always take two two values at a time so i will say a comma b and here with those two values 
So it doesn't matter what you want to do, you always take two at a time. So you will say A plus B. Depending upon what logic you write here, it will, it will do that. And here you have to pass add all. Okay, that's what you do. So in reduce, you take you pass two parameters, function and sequence. And now instead of printing double, I will print sum. Okay, we got an error. Okay, my bad. Okay, so I'm doing reduce inside of reduce, reduce. My bad. What's wrong with me? Okay, you can see we got the output which is 56. Okay, you have to trust me at this point, it should be 56. So now let's use lambda here, right? So instead of doing this, let's use lambda. So in lambda, what you, you will do is you will again, instead of use, using add all, you will say lambda. You Now you need two parameters, right? You will say a comma b and you will say a plus b. So it will take two values at a time. So when you say you have doubles, let me also print doubles here because I want to see, I want to show you how it will add those two values. And we don't need add all function now. Let's run this code. And you can see it will it is finding double of all this. It, it, is, it is adding all these values, right? At one time it will add 4 and 12, which is 16. And then that 16 will be added with another 16, right? And then it will be added with 8 and then 12 and then 4, right? That's the sequence it follows. So at one point it will take two values and that's what reduce is doing. So that's how we work with filter, map and reduce with the help of Lambda. Okay, you can say Lambda expression or Lambda function, your choice. So I hope you understood something from this topic. Try it out, practice because this is not that easy. So let me know in the comment section if you're facing some issues and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.